Well, good morning. Welcome to Carlene's Kitchen. And hi, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm back from vacation. Uh, 31 days of a really good time of rest and exploring and shopping and taking it easy really filled my tank up. I felt like myself. You know, it was three years ago this month that I began my 27 sessions of radiation. I had finished um, the 18 sessions of chemo. And those 27 sessions were laborious and they were hard. That was three years ago. And I would say that um, going to California, spending 31 days there, was what the doctor ordered for me. It really made me feel good. So I'm really happy to be back home and to be refreshed. Just wanna share with you these things that I bought in California. A couple things. I started collecting um, spatulas when I was over there, and I love spatulas, I always have. Look at this. These spatulas have on the back the conversion from a cup to fluid to tablespoon to teaspoon. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think that's great, cool, wonderful. And obviously I like color and flowers. So I've got some spatulas. I'm always on the look for a different spatula. And then the biggest purchase in California for me was this cutting board. I looked and looked for a cutting board. My goodness, and this is probably a little too big. It's pure wood. They told me I could stain it, which I don't think I will, and I, I put oil on it, and I came home and put these pads on the bottom, and yeah, they do get wet. I could put non-wet pads, but I put that here, and you know, it's just so beautiful. I really do love it, and then when I got back, I got this. I thought this was so cool. This is to go over my sink, and it's granite, and so just a little granite, and so that I can chop and then just move the stuff over to the garbage disposal. So I've got kind of a little bit of a new setup here that I'm excited to um, show you, and more than anything, I'm excited just to share my heart, share my kitchen, share my cooking, and talk with you. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be making, and thank you Lorraine for this idea, a refrigerator pickles. Easy refrigerator pickles. Supposedly the prep time is going to be five minutes and I'm going to have a jar of that. Okay, so the first thing I do is get a jar and I'm just going to go ahead and put my recipe down here and take a look at it as I go. The first thing I do is get a jar. And I already have these ball mason jars uh, that are made in the USA. That's pretty cool. So you take your jar, and you know, this just brings out the pioneer woman in each of us. Because I know that we all have grandmothers and mothers and relatives who use these jars and pickled. So this is an easy refrigerator pickle but yet there's such a heritage and it makes me feel like such a woman to be using these jars. So a family lady. So I'm gonna put one and a half cups water into this. I'm gonna use my um, RO water. So I got the minerals out. So one and a half cups of water. So the first thing you're gonna do is not put your cucumbers in, but make your brine. One and a half cups water, there it went. The next thing, three tablespoons apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. You know, I've said it before, but if you're gonna get apple cider vinegar, look to that it has with the mother, capital M. You pay 50 cents to a dollar more, but that is what's good for you. So apple cider vinegar, which I seem to be using more and more in a lot of different areas. One, two, it was a meager two, three, an overflowing apple cider vinegar, second ingredient. The third ingredient, kosher salt. 
So I went up in my cabinet. I had some Cozy Yourself. I haven't used it for a while. One and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. They said you could use pickling salt too. So here's, that's a lot of salt. One, and I'm just gonna do a half. One and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. My next ingredient is two teaspoons black peppercorn. If you have a pepper grinder, you have to put peppercorn in it. This is gonna have me just put the actual non-ground peppercorn right in here. These little guys, these little peppercorns, they get all over the place, don't they? Oh my goodness, they're like little, little, little tiny insects or something. They just roll around my kitchen whenever I do anything with peppercorns. Two teaspoons peppercorn. So I'll put that in here. One, two, five cloves of garlic that have been peeled. Put that in my brine. And then dill. So I bought some dill. I washed it, letting it dry. And it says six. They call it springs, S-P-R-I-N-G-S, springs of fresh dill. One, that's a little one. Two, three, four, five, and six. So I can use this for something later that I want to use still. And one bay leaf. I didn't even know I had a bay leaf. Bay leaf. So I did find one. One bay leaf. It says that you can add a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. I have a little bit of that. And this is a fourth a teaspoon. I think I'm going to drop in. I'm going to drop in it little less than a half, but give it some spice. Actually, I tried making this uh, last week and using a different recipe, and I found that it wasn't spicy enough or sharp enough. So this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the directions. So let's three. One and a half cup water, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoons kosher, or pickling salt, two teaspoons black peppercorn, five cloves of garlic that are peeled, six large sprigs of fresh steel. So maybe I'll put another one because I don't know that I consider mine large. One bay leaf and optional, a half a teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes. So there it is, there's my brine. There's my brine. So I'm going to take this off and put this cover on. And I'm going to shake it up. Of course, curiosity is getting the cat here. I'm just curious what this tastes like. So let's take a peek and take a taste. Well, it definitely tastes nothing like my other one. So let's give it a try. I can't say I like it, I can't say I dislike it. And then we're going to go ahead and just put these cucumbers into the brine. I bought, I bought baby cucumbers. I didn't use big ones, and I left a couple of them whole. They said to cut them in half. I cut the majority of them in half, but I left a couple whole to see if that if I need to cut them in half. I'm assuming you do. If you leave them whole, maybe it's difficult for that, that brine to get to the inner of the cucumber, and this takes care of that by cutting in half. But look at this. I put my cucumbers in here. That's pretty good. And I do think it's enough. Look at it. Look at this. Oh yeah. 
My mom and my grandma and my aunts would be so proud of me. Look at me. Yeah. So this is called Easy Refrigerator Pickles. Now, this is going to go into the refrigerator for two days. And then we'll start eating them. They're going to be crunchy. And I'm really looking forward to this. Isn't this gorgeous? What do you think? And it, how long did it take me? Is there a clock on my ticking away there? Maybe 10 minutes. Oh, it did take 10 minutes. All right. So, well, anyway, I'm back. I'm back in Arizona. I'm back into my kitchen. And you know what? I just pray that God directs me and he directs you and that he helps us to choose the right foods. All right. May our food be blessed.